What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ and Tyler, and this high school football highlight is brought to you by the fine folks down at Naples Rip Company. All of our football coverage this season is sponsored by the Terry Donahue Memorial California Showcase, the largest free recruiting event in the state of California. All of our St. Anthony coverage is sponsored by Jane and B.I. Mays, class of 1948. And all of our Lakewood coverage is sponsored by J.P. Crawford, class of 2013. Thank you to all of our sponsors. A local clash at New Clark Field. St. Anthony hosting Lakewood. It's Thursday night high school football. It's a color rush, and it's a proximity infatuation. I mean, they don't have a lot of history against each other, but, I mean, Lakewood's closer to this field than St. Anthony is to their own home field. I know, it's kind of odd, and they haven't played in a while, but it's nice to see them going at it and have those familiar teams. I mean, we love a 5-6-2 double up, obviously, JJ, and great to see our guy Mario Morales on the other sideline, even though that used to be his home sideline at St. Anthony. Crazy. Sticking to the theme, it's Jocho Apisala running the ball for Lakewood against his old team, St. Anthony. There was also a lot of jarring, a lot of a lot of talk from both sides back and forth. Sure. Uh, Nate Martinez running the ball hard for St. Anthony going the other way, but every gain was a little bit of a loss, a lot of penalties in this one. More yellow against black than white, if you'll be honest. <laughs> yeah, and for example, here's a great one. Late in the first quarter, Cecil Xavier Smith on the end around, and you're going to see this one. Ah, it's coming back, JJ. I mean, you feel bad for him. He makes a nice play, but it's coming the other way. It was just penalties, penalties, penalties. St. Anthony driving on the way back using Martinez at the wheel. He's going to tote the rock deep into the red zone of Lakewood's Noah Furlow on the keeper here for St. Anthony quarterback, ready to sacrifice the body and be an athlete. But this one's going to come back for holding. It's going to force a field goal attempt. Yeah, and it was a long field goal attempt from 42 yards out. Andres Mendoza uh, unable to get it there, but someone ran into him. So another Lakewood penalty is going to open the door for a second chance. This one's from 37, and the second time is the charm as Mendoza is going to drill it and give St. Anthony the lead. 3 nothing with 8.25 left in the second. Saints have been great at the beginning of the two games this year. However, it's not gone well after that. What a beautiful setting here tonight, Tyler. Cloudless fall sky. And you can guess the reason why I'm going to fast forward this return by Cecil Xavier Smith. Is it because it's not going to count? (laughs) Yeah. 23 penalties tonight for Lakewood, 228 yards. That's tough. Not great. Game-changing play here, Cade Casillas, second and forever, a 24-yard run on second and 26 to help keep that drive alive and finally get Lakewood off the mat. A few plays later, Casillas going deep. Taiwan Jones hauls it in, 46-yard touchdown catch, and the lid is off the bottom. Yeah, don't worry, Lancer fans. Despite those penalties, you got five on it. Casillas getting them going. Deuce is loose now. There is joy on that Lakewood sideline. And it's not going to get much better for the home team as uh, salt in the wound here as your former teammate Solo Le Paga Ely is going to recover that fumble. And he's like, it's going this way. And it wouldn't take much time on the very next play. Nitro Miller, Octane Butane run game, Nitrain back from injury. You can see how hungry he is to get in the end zone. 13-yard TD makes it 14-3 Lakewood with about five minutes left to the break. Lakewood defense getting its cleats set now. Is it the the black swarm, the the black plague, uh, the black flag? I don't know. Nasir (laughs) Jenkins with a nice play there. And Lakewood going the other way with authority. They've got rhythm now. It's Caleb Tafua from Casillas and putting his head down and arriving violently even as the ball carrier. Then the train runs on time, whether you like it or not. It's Miller time. Six rushes for 60 yards and the touchdown, 420. Then Casillas comfy in the pocket, going back to seven for six. To fill with 36-yard touchdown, Lakewood would add the field goal just before halftime, take a 24-3 lead to that break. And they did not let up after halftime, JJ. Got to shout out the great crowd uh, here at Clark Field on a Thursday. Um, unfortunately for the St. Anthony fans, the ones in red were having a little bit more fun as this game got longer. Going for the jugular, first play of the second half, Casillas to Kenny Niumata Ivalu, 90-yard touchdown. Casillas, 9 of 20, 255, and three tubbies through the air, but none longer than that one as Kenny got running and got his tubby. tubby. Yeah, this Lakewood team was just a runaway manhole cover as this game got longer. Next Lancer's possession, it's another big play. This one is Cade cracking the code, a few shimmy shakes, and then pure speed. 49-yard touchdown, three carries, 76 yards in that tubby for the quarterback. 38 unanswered points 
in less than 10 minutes of game time, Tyler. We thought we were in for a close one in the first half, and then you blink your eyes, and this Lakewood team was running away with it. Yeah, lit the fuse, and then they blew up and <laughs> ran away for a 45-3 win. Next up for St. Anthony, they host Torrance, while Lakewood hosts an intriguing matchup against Edison. You want coverage of those games and all other sports going on in Long Beach? you got to stay right here at the 562.org.